this is one of the many uh, sad, sad stories of the realm. We throw away bags and bags of food that is perfectly fine because these people, the guests here at the row, don't want don't want to eat it because it's cold food and they want hot food. This is completely sad. Well, that was video taken by a Row NYC hotel employee exposing the massive amounts of food migrants are throwing out every day. Food which is paid with New Yorkers' tax dollars. Wow, and a whistleblower right there. An estimated one ton of food is tossed every day. Hotels in the city had been ordered by Mayor Eric Adams to house these migrants as a humanitarian response and a relief center once the migrants arrived. Some hotel rooms averaging four to five hundred dollars a night. Felipe Rodriguez is the man who captured these images and really shared the story with the press. He's with us now. Uh, welcome, sir. Thanks so much for coming on. How did you find out about all this wasted food? Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Um, as a worker at the row, um, I noticed that there was too many. The, the garbage had like quadrupled. It was like too many bags. So I I decided to open a few of the bags, and I found uh, a lot of the garb. A lot of the garbage was just good sandwiches, uh, individual wrapped um, bagels, uh, TV dinners. And I was done. I was like, why are they throwing this out? Um, I, I asked a few of the uh, guests, the migrants, why are you guys not eating the food? And they said they didn't like it. They said they wanted rice and beans and, and what, they wanted a hot meal. They just didn't want that. Um, then they started smuggling uh, hot plates, pans, because they wanted to cook their own meals. And that's a, that's a fire and safety issue for uh, all of us, for the guests, for the, for the workers, for the hotel itself. It's dangerous. Well, that's an element to the story, at least that I did not know, that they were attempting to cook their own food within the hotel hotel room, if I'm understanding you correctly. Um, yeah. you, 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 thank you. And you, you alluded to that a little bit of what it's like to host uh, the migrants there. Look, a hotel, as we all know, it's a luxury. You're able to visit a city or, or a town and, and pay a certain amount of money, and you're able to sleep in a well-made bed, clean sheets, right? You get, you've got internet. You've got all these accommodations and kind folks like you to, to help out. Um, this is a different situation. What has it been like for you as a hotel worker um, to host uh, many, many migrants uh, in, in your facility, in your hotel? When I started working for the row, uh, the row is, is a hotel. It's in, it's in the middle of Manhattan. Um, and the guests that we were housing there were uh, uh, students, uh, pilots from airlines, uh, tourists that came from Southeast Asia, from uh, Europe. Um, it was an array of, of people that uh, were kind, they were respectful, and the interaction between the guests and and the local six hotel joint council union members was pleasant, was very pleasant. Um, now we're dealing with migrants who, some of them are very kind too, but the government failed to to vet out, you know, the good from the bad, and they just threw a whole bunch of migrants without knowing if those people was going to uh, be of good to our to our neighborhood, to, to our communities. Um, and when they got here, some of them are really trying to benefit from the American dream, and some of them are just joining the, the criminal behavior that we already have existing in, in New York, um, selling drugs, smoking weed, getting drunk, um, yeah. domestic violence. It's, it's chaos. 
Right, it's crazy. right. And then it, it falls on these hotels' shoulders, quite frankly. The employees who have to clean up these rooms after the fact, and then, of course, the unfortunate discovery of completely wasted good food uh, that had been rejected by migrants. Uh, really interesting. Felipe Rodriguez, thanks for coming on, sharing your story. We appreciate your time today. Thank you.